Okay, everyone, so uh, I need to apologize to start off this video. Um, I actually recorded about 45, 50 minutes of gameplay and then realized I wasn't actually recording. Uh, so we're actually in a different spot right now. Obviously, we're in the Badlands, we're in Kargith, and we were previously we ended in the Swamp of Sorrow. So I want to just quickly summarize in about 30 seconds what we did last time, or what we did uh, off screen, unfortunately. Uh, we were in not Swamp of Sorrow's Dust Wallow Marsh last time we were down here. There were some elite quests down here. Uh, I actually couldn't complete any of them, they were too hard to complete. So I left them, abandoned them, came up here to the northeast. Um, up on Alcaz Island around here, I believe. Maybe it's not Alcaz Island, but these islands up here, there's some murlocs. Um, I went ahead and killed some murlocs, got some seaweed, which let me summon a kind of a big elite, which gave me... A, it summoned Dagon, and we killed Dagon, got his uh, hand. Then we went to um, Dust Desolus, and our, then we went to uh, Thunder Bluff, turned in the Dead My Request, then we went to Desolus over here. And along here, there's a sea giant, a tall strider, I think it was called. We killed him, a deep strider, we killed him. We got his heart, I think it was, and we turned in that quest in uh, Duskwood. Duskwood, over here, this little guy that was up here, I forgot the quest was called, but we turned in that quest. Um, it was one where we also had to kill some things in the Swamp of Sorrows. We did that a few episodes ago. So we went over there and killed that guy and turned it in. Uh, we've got some stuff to delete. Uh, we do have a Shadow Weave Mask still here. We're not level 44 yet, so we can't use it. And we've got this Pattern Bronze Brace, which we're going to grab now, because we're going to go turn in that quest. Um, so then, once we finished uh, turning in the quest in Duskwood, we uh, flew, we ran to Stoneheart and flew up here to Badlands. And the next thing I was going to do is what I'm doing right now, which is turning in the Stone is Better Than Cloth quest. Um, let's check, slash who, uh, 3,100 people online. Now, uh, it's been a little while since I've put up a video for this character, and the reason was that the Anathema server had been taken offline due to uh, basically running out of money. Um, they had money. A guild donated $2,000 a few months ago. That paid for like last month's and this month and the next month's uh, server cost. Then that uh, guild did a chargeback, and that basically pulled back that money because the donation had been given directly to the server hosts. Um, so there were no middlemen there to uh, interrupt that charge back. And then, not that there's much they could have really done anyway. I'm trying to get up here to get this iron ore, by the way. Crap. Uh, we don't want to uh, get them, Tang Moth. We're going to mine this. So the server was down for about uh, 36 to 48 hours, I think, and then took a little bit to get it back up and running. Um, it's all good now. So in the meantime, I was playing other things because I couldn't log in here. Uh, but now I can log in. Today is Friday morning, by the way, here. And I will say that um, usually it takes me at minimum 24 hours from the time I record to actually getting a video online. Uh, what happens is I record usually in the morning, and if I'm lucky, I'll get a full hour in, or about an hour to get a full PlayStation in, record the whole thing. And then I will... Um, if I'm very, very lucky, start rendering it that morning. By the time I come home from work, later in the evening, uh, it's usually fully rendered, and then I can upload it overnight, and the next day I could upload. So, for example, it's Friday morning, if I play now, or render it now, uh, and then get home uh, tonight and upload it overnight, tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, it'll be available for people to watch. That's like the best case scenario. Um, mostly what happens is I record hopefully a full episode in one morning. Sometimes it takes two mornings. I split it up maybe two 30-minute sessions. So that's two days, up to two days right there. Then I usually don't have time to render, to like do some editing and render it up that morning. So usually that evening when I come home, I might be able to render it. Um, then that renders overnight, and then the next morning I'll upload it when I'm at work. By the way, we just turned on that quest and that was the end of it. That was like the end. We did get the Enchanted Stone Cloth Bracers, which is literally a one stamina, one armor upgrade. Seems pretty good to me. Also, I just realized our durability is at like 44%. Look at this gear. 15 out of 55, 32 out of 35, uh, 6 out of 30, 9 out of, excuse me, 9 out of 25. We have not repaired in a very long time. I need to do that. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to do that. Now, what we're going to work on uh, going forward is some Booty Bay and Shungathorn Veil's quests and the Star of the Hand and the Heart. Um, we get the Legacy Heart, actually, from Stranglethorn Vale. And I think it's going to be faster as the Hearth, by the way. So we're going to Hearth to, because our Hearth's still set in Booty Bay, right? Yep. So, uh, in many cases, if I do recording like today, 
I might not finish the recording till Saturday, I might not do the rendering, it might not be done till Sunday morning, and the upload might not be done until Sunday evening. So sometimes, if I start a video Friday morning, I don't actually get it out until, um, like a Monday, by the time I'm all said and, it's all said and done. So, just an FYI, if it ever seems like I'm not discussing things that are relevant, time relevant, that's usually why. It's because I'm actually literally at least a day, if not up to like four days behind by the time what I'm saying in this video is actually published on YouTube. Uh, now we're going to fly over to Gromgul. I'm actually really disappointed that that last episode got messed up. So what happened is I, I use Shadowplay to record my video uh, and in-game audio, and I use Audacity to record my microphone. I guess I just had a brain fart. I'm not really sure. I swore I had it set up. Um, but uh, I realized at the very end of the video, I was like shutting down my recording software and there was no shadow play running. So I don't know if it crashed and I just didn't notice or if I just uh, never set it up in the first place. But I mean, that was basically it. Uh, LM and nope, who is LM and nope? <laughs> yeah, Dead Guild is dead, guys. I mentioned this uh, recently. Um, like if you look at the people that have been on the last seven days, there it's like here. Like if you've got maybe ten percent of this guild has been on in the last seven days, vast majority have been gone. And if you look at by rank, uh, the last officer it's been on is on in the last month, the last twenty three days. The guild leader was on twenty three days ago. An officer was on the other day, so he's still on. Uh, but everyone else, all, all the other officers are just like bailed. Um, yeah, the dead guild is dead, guys. So. Because the server was down for a bit, because of the money problem, because of all the drama going on with Elysium, which is uh, now kind of dying down in terms of like it being in people's faces, um, but still in people's minds, I get is still very true. I think uh, the server has certainly dropped in population. I mean, all the Elysium servers have. Like I said, this is thirty one hundred. If you watch my slash who's over the last month or two, um, it used to be at like eight thousand, I think, at the top when I would play in my play time, and then it went down to like around, and then it hovered around six to five thousand for a very long time, and now it's down to like 3,000. Um, I don't know how much more the server's honestly going to be able to withstand, uh, withstand before it gets to a point that people start like literally really bailing out. Um, I'm not like overly worried because I still, this is still, this population is still a higher pop than retail vanilla ever would have been, but it's trending downwards. So that is a concern in that you, you start to worry that the server is going to just keep trending downwards until at the end of it, you know, until there's like so few people on, you have no one to play with anymore. Um, but I'm going to keep playing my Warlock until it gets to a point where I'm not having fun. And so there's lots of factors in what, what says whether I'm having fun or not. Let's talk to Nimboya here. Tremor to travel to Hammerfall, okay. And Grim Message. Wither Bark Skulls. Okay, those are both... Um, not in Stranglethorn Vale, so we can, we're not worried about that for now. Yeah, so let's just turn on all these quests for the moment. Um, yeah, it's a little disheartening seeing the server population drop. Now, I'm really not, I'm really seriously not exactly surprised. Um, this is what happens when you do some things that are questionable, and I think more importantly what the Elysium team did badly is they have failed to address concerns appropriately. Um, there were times where they posted basically emotional rants, and there were times where they seemed to try to cover things up. There were times where it seemed like they almost tried to threaten people that were exposing them. Uh, and those are not that's not how you handle the problem. I mean, basically either Elysium was innocent and they could have proven that, or they were guilty and they can try to cover it up and lash out. And I think it's somewhere in between. I think some of the things that they were accused of, I don't think were true. Some of them certainly were true. I mean, definitely there were some things that happened. Um, and it's kind of, I know, I feel like it's hypocritical for me to play on the server, but then say that I don't support the things that occurred. Um, and, and I can't logically justify that. All I can say is that I'm having fun playing on vanilla servers, so uh, this is like maybe the best one right now. Kronos is looking pretty promising again, so it's very possible I'll switch back to my priest, but man, I just want to stick to one character. I honestly do. I, more than anything, I really want to stay on one server and just keep playing and have fun. Um, so it's really, it's always disheartening when you see private servers have major problems like this or shutting down, especially like the rebirth is shut down recently. It's really too bad for people that play on those servers. Um, anyway, I don't want to rant about that for too long. So we are in Stranglethorn Vale and we are heading southeast. 
down to, I forget what this area is called, but it's this little troll area over here. And the reason why we're going here is we want to work on the Legacy Heart quest. Uh, oh, crap. A Jungle Thunderer. There's another one. I'm not paying enough attention to these guys. I feel like Jungle Thorn Veil is an easy zone to like run into mobs on accident. There we go. There's our Skull Splitters that we need. Uh, but we need to go a little more deeper. So we're really looking for a named Skull Splitter in particular. And I think there is a way... Because we don't need to fight through all these guys. And we do need Skull Splitter Tusks for a different quest. I'm not overly concerned about doing that quest, to be honest. Like, if we don't get that quest done, I'm not going to be heartbroken. Uh-huh. Yeah, because you need 18 tusks, and it can take a while. Ooh, what's this? Um, We're not going to mess with them. There's three of them. They'll probably kill me, even though they're lower level. All it takes is, like, one fear from that warlock, and then I'm just going to get blown up. Now, I think there is a way to bypass a lot of these mobs. I don't think we have to fight dead through this crappy, crappy troll-infested mess. But I am trying to remember how to do this. Maybe we do need to. Because I think if we stick to this mountain lip, so uh, what we're doing is down, oh, let me zoom in on this a little bit. So the legacy heart we need is down in the bottom right southeast. But you can kind of follow these mountains and almost get behind a lot of this, I think. Um, so I'm going to try to do that. Because I remember doing this previously on a, on a character where I didn't want to fight all this crap, so I just kind of hung around on the edge here. And what's that? A gold vein. Okay, we can't open gold veins. And the ruins. Yeah, here we go. This is looking good. I think this is... Is this right? Do we need to get over a little more? Uh, I don't know if we can make it across here. We might be able to. Okay. Okay, we're not doing bad, not doing bad. There's a gold vein. Yeah, it's a gold vein. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but this is how you do it, guys. You don't you don't fight every mob. You just uh, sneak around back. Whoa. Crap. I uh, actually didn't realize the mobs were up here. Well, I'm glad I... Skull Splitter Headhunter. Okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't fall off and fall into a bunch of things and drag this guy with me or anything. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. So now, I think the spot we need is like right down. I can't like get my camera around. Right here, I think... I don't know, maybe, I see it, I see it, it's over here. Yep, okay. Now I know what we're doing. We got a Skull Splitter Tusk, perfect. Um, there are some mobs up here. I'm super surprised by that. Okay, a Skull Splitter Berserker, right? All right, let's, let's go ahead and light this guy up. I guess we will have to clear through these, it looks like. We can't safely get through all these mobs, uh, or run around all these mobs, unfortunately. Yeah, but this is definitely a way to go. It might have, it might have been possible to actually um, get a, up higher even still and avoid these mobs. I don't honestly know if that's totally true. If I totally would have been able to do that, but I think I probably could have. Okay, I think I see our big guy there, right? Level 44 elite. So we're going to have to clear... I want to start by clearing this guy back here. I want to get some space up here, and I want to start pulling mobs in this direction. Ooh. Yeah, Sandia, are you doing the star, the hand, the heart? I fear this guy off of me because he's gonna eat me alive if I don't get him away. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, this guy's running forever. He should run away in fear when I hit him to 15%, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Good. Invite, please. I'd love to see if these guys would group up with me. Hi, there's a named elite up here. Would you be willing to help me kill it real quick? I might as well see if they're willing to help out. Uh, oh, okay. Never mind, maybe they're not interested, that's fine. So, okay, let me... Uh, how are we going to do this? So we need to clear these two separately. And then, let's see, are they, are they coming up this way? No, they're not, okay. So we need to clear these three at least, then pull this guy back here. 
Um, I think that's that should work pretty well. Uh, well, good luck. I guess I might as well leave the party then. Um, I don't mean that as like a rude, like, well, good luck. I just mean like, well, good luck. Like, you know, there's no loot on that guy. It's lame. Okay, so I want to try and pull this guy and then back up. Oh, wow. Okay, we didn't pull. I was thinking we'd pull more mobs with that, but that's great. I think the next one we pull is definitely going to yank uh, the big guy with him. Because what I want to do is kill this one separately. And then, wow, this guy hits pretty hard, doesn't he? Oh. Yeah. Oh, please reinvite if you're up here. Sorry. Um, yeah, my bad. Now I feel dumb. Uh, mind helping me with. It's like I, like I said, I don't think I need them, but if they're gonna be up here anyway. Whoa. These guys, uh. What did they pull? Like four mobs? Sure. Uh, looks like they're out of mana, but they should be okay. What do, what do we have here? We have a priest and a shaman. Okay, so between the two of them, should be able to heal pretty well. I think my void walker is thinking one of them, right? Yeah, it looks like it. How many mobs? I really didn't realize we had like they had, like four mobs here. That's really funny. Uh, it's a mess. We're getting a lot of soul shards, aren't we? Into what's this barrel? Fool stout, right? I gotta turn that in somewhere. I forget where that needs to go. Skull splitter helm. That's pretty nice. I don't know if they need the tusks, that's a good deal for me. Hey, can you help me kill this real quick? What's this little guy? Curzon Mind Slave, huh? <clears throat> Looks like they were drinking. Yeah, this is going to be really easy if we have this many people with us, uh, as long as I don't pull all this stuff. Yeah, oh, we're going to pull this guy separately, okay. Uh, let's have Tang Moth. Man, his name's unknown now, so that's kind of sad. My Voidwalker, he's getting shamed. He is never going to ever get a name. Like, he had a name, and then it disappeared, and then it, it was like Sardok, and then he disappeared because the server shut down, and then he came back as unknown, and then he got a name as Tang Moth, and now he's unknown again. I don't know what. He's just like. It's sad. He's never going to have a name, is he? Another Skull Splitter Helm. Cool. I'm getting these tusks like crazy now. Okay, let's uh, let's pull this guy. Ready, 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 ready. I guess a shadow priest could use some mana, maybe. There's a chest over there. Nice, we can go get that. Uh, ready. <laughs> oh man, these guys. They're uh, clearing that way, which isn't really what I need. Um, so I'm hoping they will turn around and help out. Oh, I don't have any water. That's sad. I was wondering, I was like, why isn't the priest drinking? And I mean, honestly, I don't have much water. I barely ever have water, it seems like. But, oh, really sticky glue. I forgot I saw that really sticky glue. I should use that. I don't know when I'm going to use it, but one of these days I'll put it to use. Are we still fighting? No, we're good. Okay, let's go this way, guys. Alright, I say we kill the... Am I out of range for real? Yeah, okay. I want to back up where this thing wrecks me. Maybe I just throw a fear on this guy? Maybe this is a really bad idea, I don't know, we're going to find out in a sec. We got smoke bomb, what is that? Stunned. Who stunned me? Oh, that Curzon Mind Slave. I forgot this thing was running around. I should probably deal with that. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, there's a freaking mob here. Doing mobby things. How's that guy so f high on health? I swear, did he just get healed or something? Like, it, he almost had to have been healed, right? Oh, uh, that's a life tap. I'm trying to keep my Void Walker from, uh... 
Shadow of Chance, nice. I'm trying to get my Void Walker from, oh crap, I got a heal. Um, from taking uh, aggro and aggroing other stuff over there. Okay, nice. Legacy Heart, all done. Skull Splitter Tusk, good stuff. Thank you. That made it easy. Wanna grab this chest over here? Let's see if we can pull this guy. Is he gonna run through the wall, Kath? He looked like he was running like straight at the wall. I was like, oh man, he's gonna run straight through the wall, isn't he? Oh wait, what are these guys fighting? I'll throw a dot on that one. I didn't realize they pulled something over there. My bad. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more. Now that I uh, killed the mob that I was worried about. As a, as, like the zoom, actually I need to stay zoomed in. The problem is like the zoom here just gets you so much foliage. It's kind of annoying. Um, are they not interested in the chest? I'll grab the chest and I will share the loot. I'm not a ninja, so thankfully, luckily for them, it's like, I'm not just going to run away with everything. Um, I'll take that. want to roll for it. I will say that's one thing I really miss about Chronos server, which is actually not how WoW is supposed to be implemented. Um... And when you open a chest in a group, everyone has to roll for it. You can't just, like, loot it. Oh. Uh, apparently they don't want the loot. Whatever. Okay, fine. Thank you, guys. I will take the stuff, which I don't know if it's actually any good. I wasn't really paying any much attention to it. I gotta kill the stupid spirit healer, spirit chaser. He's been healing like a jerk. There we go. Dead. I'm just gonna loot all this, then. Um, I did use a health, so I need to make a new one. I also need some mana. So, oh, Jesus, uh, crap, the mobs are respawning here, uh, that's really bad. Um, maybe I'll use one of those potions I just, I just stole. Um, I gotta get out of here. There's mobs right out there, there's mobs there, that's really bad. Um, when did those mobs respawn? I guess where they just killed these things. Uh, this is bad. I'm, like, scared now, because especially these things net, right, the headhunters throw nets out, which is not good for me. Uh, for a lot of reasons, obviously. Okay. Um, oh, I'm still stuck. This is a long net. Wow. Okay. Uh, I don't think I want to tap. I think I want to keep my health up for the moment. That's a spirit chaser. Okay, we're just going to try to run out of here. We aggroed one of them, but we're just going to... we got to move a little bit farther away. Oh, there's some mobs over here that they killed. that didn't loot. Uh, maybe a tusk? Nope. Oh, Jesus. Oh Jesus, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I don't have a freaking health stone up. I forgot I used my health stone. Okay, there we go. You got that? Wild vine, sweet. Run, 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 run. Okay, you just gotta de-aggro these things, and we can make a health stone, and... Whew, okay. Gotta make a health stone. And I need to bandage. I should really... I have these, um... I'm still using mage, heavy silk bandages, but I do have mage weave bandages. I need to stop using those ma silk bandages and just use the mage weave. Because, uh, I, I mean, I like to, like, be efficient and not waste resources, right? But it's sort of silly to still have those. Now, I do need five more skull splitter tusks, so I think I will head out of this area. This is the way, one of the ways out. Um, what did I get, by the way? I got this schematic craftsman, craftsman's monocle. I don't think it's that good. Uh, level, I mean, level 32, 15 intellect hat is actually pretty good, I think. And these pauldrons are 10 strength, 9 stamina, level 40. That's actually, those are extremely good pauldrons, or shoulder pieces, for level 40, because it's the first level you can use plate at, and 10 strength, 9 stamina is, like, like, a great stat distribution for warriors. So actually, those are really good shoulders. I might see if I can sell them somehow. I miss having counterspell, by the way. Like, as a mage, um, you can counterspell people, and it's so nice when you're dealing with these stupid mobs that, like, use spells. <laughs> so, so, I don't really have a great response to these. Like, all I can do is kind of run away, and uh, like, pull back, you know? Um, axe thrower. Okay. Anyway, since we're almost done with these tusks we needed, uh, we got them really well. I, I was surprised they, they dropped this well. I honestly expected them to be a really bad drop rate, but the tusks are like, we were getting practically a 100% drop rate. I think it was like one mob that I remember that didn't drop it. So that's really nice. Um, ooh. So we just want to finish these up. 
and hopefully, what do we have, 15 of 18, um, yeah, the last few mobs we're going to need, you know what I just realized, I have, um, I specced into Dark Pact recently, and I never used it, so the way Dark Pact is supposed to be used, you just have an imp, and your imp's supposed to be like your battery, and you just never use the imp's mana, except as a Dark Pact, like, battery, and you keep the imp in phase shift mode, so he never gets attacked, um, but I just don't use it, and I, I don't know, maybe I, I really need to, I think. Um, I'm just, I don't know, just like one more thing to like focus on, which is, uh, I don't know, it, it's just more at work, I guess. Like even if it's more DPS overall, I just feel like it's a little more effort required. Ultimately, what I, I, I don't play as well narrating as I think I would um, if I were not narrating, because I, I, you know, obviously I'm spending some focus, some brain power on uh, the game itself here. And I also just realized, I think I had the audio for the game turned down, so I just turned it up. So if you didn't have any audio, that's why. And now we're up and running with that. You know, I've had so much trouble with recording the last two times I've been trying to record now that I just see the audio's off. I really need to uh, just put like a checklist, like turn on shadow play, turn on in-game audio, turn on uh, microphone, and just like stick to like, I don't know, recording 101, uh, turn on stuff. Um, more often than not, I just forget to turn on things. Now, I think we're done with our trolls, right? We're done with our tusks, rather. Um, now we need shrunken heads. Where do we get those? Maury's key, I know, is up there. Um, I'm tempted to go try to solo Maury's key since we're up here anyway. And it's something we can do solo. It's not going to be maybe time efficient, but I think we can give it a shot. If we get a maybe kill like two or three, if we get lucky. We will uh, have our key. So they drop randomly from ogres up here. And there's another quest like Mazoth, I think his name is. Like a big ogre you need to kill in the deep in there. But I don't have that quest yet. I don't remember how to get that quest. Um, where are the shrunken heads? Bloody bone necklaces. Where are the shrunken heads at? Here we go. So any of these ogres can drop. Oh, Jesus. I don't actually mean to aggro an ogre. Let's start getting some dots on him. The good news is, our void walker's tanking him pretty well. Okay, we got all the dots going. Now I'll slam them with a the fear. And then we just... I feel like fear makes people really run far on this server. I don't know, it just seems like more recently I've noticed mobs are running everywhere when they get feared. Um, more so than I recall them normally doing, or they used to do. Wow. Uh, Voidwalker's getting a little wrecked. Uh, Voidwalker's probably going to die after this. Which doesn't really matter much. Yeah, just mouse click that. Just, just get over it, guys. Wow, come back, come back, come back. Look how far, look how, what the hell? He's gonna reset. He's gonna reset as soon as he gets out of fear. Oh, never mind. Uh, I need to fear him before he eats me. There we go. Like, that's an insane run, right? And mobs shouldn't run that far. Like, it doesn't, this doesn't make any sense. Like, look how far he's going. It's, it's like... Now I'm gonna die. This is so dumb. I I shouldn't complain about like little things like this, but it really is a little crazy. I'm gonna use a potion real quick, and I need to. I don't have any mana, so I'm like trying to dot this guy and finish him off. Um. Okay, there we go. Let's fear this one now. I don't have any mana. All right, let's life tap. I got plenty of health thanks to my. Uh, Thanks to my heal potion. Best way to get to Badlands the first time. Yeah, you gotta go through Arathi. Arathi. Wetlands. Badlands. Yeah, I did that run recently. That's not a fun run. Okay, three silver. You know, uh, yeah, so I pulled that mob from here, and he ran all the way up to that, past that gorilla over there. I just feel like something's wrong with fear, right? Like, mobs shouldn't run that far. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like... I gotta get rid of some of these soul shards, I don't need this many. Um, it just seems too far. So, let's kill one more and see how that goes for us. I'm gonna life tap a couple times, heal. Um, my void walkers regenerating in the meantime. So, yeah, anyway, sorry about the audio not being on. I I don't know, I'm just, my brain's been fried recently, I think. It's been a busy, busy week or two for me. Combination of things, but... Uh, now we need to, let's drink. What do we have to drink? 
Enchanted water, moonberry juice. Do we have any? Hmm. Sweet nectar. Let's grab that. Okay, so we're gonna try one more kill here. What level was that ogre that we just killed? 42 Warhammer. This is a war mo wait, war monger. So we have 41 Warmonger. I kinda wanna go just get a shaman. I feel like shaman will be easier to kill, right? Well, if they don't aggro a bunch of crap. Uh, let, okay, screw it. Let's just kill this guy. Because um, I was thinking if we kill a shaman, if they have the same drop rate, it doesn't matter, right? But the shaman, I would think, has less health, so maybe it makes things a little bit easier. Um, let's fear this guy away now. Okay, just get all the dots going. Well, that uh, fear broke real fast. It's kind of sad. Oh well, I'll respam it. Such is life. I guess I should be using my improved curses um, more often. Amplified curse. Jesus, come on, stop doing this guy. Mosh Og Spellcaster, huh? Oh, I guess I got aggro. Uh, let's fear him away. Gotta keep more dots on him. Oh, whoa, what the crap? Uh, that fear broke real fast again. <laughs> I'd really like fears to stop breaking so fast. Um, now I've got like no dots on him. Okay, where is he going? He's almost dead, right? Come back here. Well, we aggroed another one. We got 880 experience, so we're getting like a thousand experience per kill almost. I'm gonna run away from that one. Um, I forgot I have death coil. I haven't used that in a long time. I just, I'm like blanking on death coil. Okay, so we're gonna do... I'm gonna go loot this guy. I've got bag space. So I think... I'm gonna bandage real quick, and then I'm... Og Lord, Mosh Og Lord. We don't wanna fight that guy. The Spellcrafter is what we want, or the Shaman especially would be great, but I'm not gonna go in that mess over there. That's a, that's a big, that's a big dude. Um, okay, so we're just gonna send our Void Walker in to happily tank this. We're gonna get Thunderclapped if we get too close. I wanna wait a moment. There we go. Okay, Thunderclap. Now we're gonna run in. Grab this. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna bail out. We killed two of them. They didn't drop our key. I'm not gonna stick around here all day. They're too, it takes too long to kill these things. Um, but we need to... Jungle Stalker Feathers and Singing Blue Crystals. Okay. Uh, you may, you're gonna come with me? Yeah, okay. Oh, man. I don't want my pet to die if I can help it. Get out of here. Oh, he evaded. Okay, he 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 leashed the moment I cast fear on him. Nice. Uh, so the Singing Blue Crystals we can get down here pretty easily. They're uh, not... They're kind of a densely packed area. There's a lot of little stupid goblins. That's what... I mean, the things with the killer goblins. We were actually down there anyway just a moment ago, and I forgot about it. I should have just cleared it up while we were there. Uh, so the plan will be to come down here, kill these goblins, then I might head west, get some jungle stalker feathers, uh, and then uh, maybe turn in these quests, maybe do a curious, like swing down here, kill this quest, go to the west, kill this, then down there, get that. Um, let's see, we need to get, almost, we need to get to the main road, really, to get to the goblins. They're, they're like, you enter from this side of the main road, and... and Split. Someone's asking if the server is mainly Horde or Alliance. It's pretty well split. Uh, most of the Elysium servers are actually pretty evenly split in population in terms of faction. Um, however, except for Darrowshire, which is the PvE server, that one is like 65% Alliance, I think. So about twice as many Alliance there are Horde. Um, okay, this is a good spot. We can start pulling these guys out here. Let's get a uh, Health Stone back up. I got a Bristly Whisker somewhere. Oh, coarse Gorilla Hair. Different, different thing. This goblin is all kind of by himself over here. It's kind of weirdly isolated, actually. Um, like, it's just weird that he's in this spot. But, that's okay. A goblin's a goblin. Adventure Co. Strip Miner. Goblin Strippers. That's definitely not something you want to see. Oh, crap. I just life tapped twice. I meant to uh, press my... Apparently... Yeah, my keys were down a row there. My fingers. Um, oh, there's two of these guys in there. Oh no, it's a... It's, oh, Jesus, what am I doing? Uh, God. I'm gonna definitely die here if I'm not really, really careful. Okay, um, I need to actually dot the mob I was trying to dot, and not not the freaking one in the distance. I like it. <clears throat> oh, God, I'm just like totally wrecking everything here. Okay. <clears throat> now, where's the other one? 
There he is. Go get him. So what happened is, I, my, my whole freaking hand is just like, I pressed tab and I thought we had the right mob targeted. Uh, I did not. I had the one over here on the right. I, was, I didn't, I'm, oh god. It's another one. Uh, let's try and finish this first one off. Can I get line of sight to the tree? Come on, Tardok. Get some aggro. Out of range. Wow, okay. Well then. Let's re-fear this one. Actually, this one's dead anyway. I'm just gonna wand him down the last couple hits. Maybe? He like ran past me so I couldn't wand him. There we go. Wanded him. Let's fear this one. These things have a really fast respawn, by the way. Like, incredibly fast. Okay, well, um, still so far they haven't actually dropped anything we needed either. This guy's gonna run out of range in a moment. Yep. This goofy fear is insane. There we go. We got a blue crystal. We got one. We killed like three so far. This is the fourth one. Okay, so we're like about 50%. Not, not too bad. Um, we still have our demon armor up. Okay, we're good. So what else did we loot there? We got a green hills, greater healing potion. We got so many potions. Look at this. We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks of potions. Like they're not full stacks, but I mean, yeah start burning through potions like it just it's just a little wasteful and bag space having this many potions i think at least the uh, unknown is doing his job here and tanking th thanking things like a like a boss for the most part <laughs> uh, i can never decide if it's really mana efficient to use drain life like am i gaining enough health and dealing enough damage to compensate for the mana cost as opposed to just doing like a shadow bolt or something like, would it have been better, just Shadow Bolt? Uh, broken Electro Lantern, right? Broken Electro Lantern. Those vendor for what? 66 Copper. It's such junk. Like, it vendors for so little, and I don't think they stack. They might stack, but I don't think they do. Okay, we're actually not still in the main part. I was expecting to go down, like, to, yeah, here, the path. Uh, so we kind of swung in a little early on killing these guys. Looks like someone's killing... Oh, no, that's a troll. So it looks like Horde are dying here, which I really hope... That's not because we're getting ganked by some high-level alliance. My soul stone's also about to pop, uh, like just about to run out, so I'm going to need to uh, rebuff that after this fight. Look at those cool goggles. I'm going to miss them when I put on the, uh, what is it, the shadow weave hat. It's going to look really cool having the shadow weave hat, but I'm going to miss the goggles that we made for ourselves. The, okay, these do stack nice. So I need to like throw a few things out of my bags just so I can actually like have space here. Uh, some boots, okay. I, I just want to make sure if I, like, you know, if, like, an epic drops. I don't want to be unable to loot it, and then, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be unable to loot it, and then someone kills me, and then by the time I run back, it, like, it despawns or something stupid, you know? I just want to make sure I have space in my bags at all times. I don't have a lot of space, but a little bit of space is good. Wild vine is worth way too much to throw away. Wild hog shank. Sure, let's, let's, uh, Pull this guy towards us. <laughs> yeah, wild hog shank. I'm gonna about to eat that in just a moment. Could get a little bit of food in my belly, would be good. Oh, we gotta get our squirrel back out. What am I doing? Where's uh let's summon the squirrel. Summon the squirrel mid fight, it's the key pro pro skills right there. Um Okay, I got another one of these. Good, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. So cured hamstick, we'll eat that. So what's been new recently? Um I can tell you what, my work has been super busy recently. I don't know, it just seems like everything's going on. Um, I So I think I've mentioned what I do, but I basically I study bacterial diseases. Um, and what we do is we take, we get a bunch of samples of, what, what the crap is that? Oh man, that was scary. YTSM just like popped out of nowhere. Um, what I basically do is study bacterial diseases. And the way we do this is we take a bunch of clinical isolates. So we get a bunch of these bacteria from hospital, hospitalized patients that have an infection. Um, you can think of like, like pneumonia or something like that. And we get samples from them. We isolate these bacteria and we identify uh, which bacteria seem to have been more deadly uh, or more uh, virulent is what we would call it. So how likely the bacteria are to actually cause an infection and not just be cleared by the uh, natural immune system that we all have, or most of us have, unless you're immunocompromised. And uh, we, we rank them then, so we've ranked them all up. Oh, this guy's annoying, this tinker guy is a spellcaster, there we go, okay. So we rank all of them, and we get the, the most virulent strains at the top of this list, and the least virulent at the bottom. 
And what we do is we take these most virulent ones and we do genome sequencing. So we look at their DNA and we decide um, what, so we, we take and sequence all their DNA. So we get like a big string of DNA that shows their, uh, all the genes they have or possible potential genes. We don't really know what everything is in there, but we have some ideas and maybe we can make some guesses. Uh, hold on a sec, I need to figure out how to pull this guy. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to pull them without pulling that one to the left, and it looks like it worked out well. So, once we do all this genome sequencing, we then look at the most deadly bacteria, and we try to find genes that they have amongst them that they share that the least deadly bacteria don't share. Um, and when we do this, the reason why we're doing this is because we're trying to determine if there's any specific genes that maybe cause them to be very deadly, as opposed to uh, the ones that are less deadly, right? So. Uh, it's a pretty simple idea. We just look at their DNA, find genes that stand out that are most common among the highly virulent or very deadly uh, bacteria. And then what we do is we try to understand what those genes do. So a lot of cases, these genes are have an unknown function or have never been reported before, so no one has any idea what they do, right? Um, so we will do some genetic engineering to delete these genes or remove the genes from the bacteria. And then we will... Why didn't that... Harvest robot disappear. Most of these guys disappear when you kill their masters or whatever. So then we uh, delete the gene and then we test the bacteria and see whether they. Uh, this thing is really hard to kill. We test the bacteria and see whether they're less deadly after we delete this gene. So um, we'll put them in. Sometimes we'll use animal models like mice. I don't really like using mice if I can help it. I just kind of feel bad using uh, actual living things. Um, trying to clear some bag space here. Uh, so sometimes, uh, well, a lot of times what we do is we use uh, cell lines, so we have like human lung cells and we'll put them in a petri dish and we will add our bacteria and we can measure how quickly or how likely um, the bacteria are to infect those human lung cells. Um, we have all sorts of different cells, we have like, um, what do we have, lung cells, cervical cells, epithelial cells, yeah we have like four or five cell lines at least that we use frequently and we can have access to all sorts of other human cell lines. Um, and basically what we're doing is we are trying to determine if that uh, gene, if by removing it, if they're as deadly or not. And if they aren't as deadly, then we start really trying to understand the gene and what it is. Because just knowing that the gene is there, isn't there, is nice, but we want to understand the function of the gene. So if that gene produces a protein that maybe acts as a toxin that breaks open uh, like human macrophages or human, um, basically makes a toxin that allows the cell to, the bacteria to penetrate the human uh, defenses more easily. If we can identify the kind of protein that's made, uh, then a pharmaceutical company might be able to produce um, basically like an antibiotic or some sort of chemical that you can ingest and that would uh, disable that protein from functioning, that, that toxin from functioning. So we're doing like the first step here where we identify really deadly bacteria and then we identify the genes within those bacteria that make them deadly. Um, and then we try to understand those genes and what they're actually doing. Because, uh, you know, the gene could be making the uh, cell membrane really thick on that bacteria, which makes it really hard for uh, our natural immune system to penetrate and destroy the bacteria. Um, I need to heal up because I'm about to die from the stupid goblin that just threw like a dynamite at me. Um, so that's basically what we're doing. We study bacteria, uh, most cases bacteria. We look at their, we sequence them, we look at their DNA. When I say sequence, I mean like uh, genome sequencing or DNA sequencing. I'm going to use that uh, protection, armor protection thing I just got. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of what we do. And that's, it's tough work, honestly. Like I really enjoy it, but it takes a lot of time. Um, I'm new to this area of research. So uh, even just doing like the the gene deletions, genetic manipulation is really time consuming and somewhat difficult, especially because we're working with clinical isolates and a lot of cases clinical isolates aren't um, easy to work with, like they don't like to be purposely engineered, uh, is what I guess I would say. But it makes for a really fun and rewarding job, I really enjoy what I do quite a lot actually. And the problem is... Um, by the way, we have nine of our ten singing blue crystals right now, so we are almost done. There's another goblin. I was looking for like a single goblin here. Um, 
I'm just gonna get this guy, and hopefully he will drop the thing we need, and we can go about our lives and move on out of this relatively crappy area. I don't really like this spot of Shanglethorn Vale. These things respawn quickly. It makes it kind of a mess to be over here sometimes. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's what I do on any given day. I go into my lab, I'm starting up bacterial cultures, I'm working on genetic uh, gene deletions. Uh, can't loot that. Okay, whatever. Our inventory is full. We need to get out of here so we can clear our inventory. We're just in desperate need of bag space right now. I got a lot of stuff to vendor, so I need to need to do that. I'm going to back up a little because I want to pull this guy away. There we go. Is fearing him a good decision? I don't know. Wait, how many mobs are hitting me right now? Why did that guy summon two of those little robots? It's really annoying. Why? Man. Okay, hold on. This gorilla thing's with 67 copper. We're getting rid of that. We gotta make a health stone. I'm gonna life tap a couple times. Yeah, uh... These goblins, man. I hate these things. They're so annoying. Okay, we're gonna bandage. So, like, so here's the thing. These are all respawned now. Like, everything back here already respawned. It's fast. Like, this has always been a fast respawn, though. Um, I don't think it's something that's just, like, new. I think it's always been a problem. I'm gonna grab these cross-stitched pants. And I'm gonna come down here and just start fighting these guys again. Um, we wouldn't need to go any farther into this area. Uh, like I said, they respawn already so quickly. So that's my day. I, I usually get into work by I try to get in by like 7 a.m. and I will um, usually check. I usually have cultures going overnight, bacterial cultures. I'll check them in the morning. Uh, start up some things I need to do with those. Where is our last freaking? Oh, do we have 10 already? When did we get the 10th one? Oh, we just got it, our last kill. Okay, I was like, where the hell? How? <laughs> I've been looking for this forever, but okay, we got all 10. Um, I probably, probably had a couple kills there I didn't need to kill. That was a bit of a mistake on my part. Oh well, life goes on. Um, shut them all, Panthers. Hey, those are the things we were trying to find uh, quite a while back. But don't need those anymore, thankfully. They're annoying to find. Um, yeah, so I do a lot with uh, bacterial... I'd call it like medical microbiology. Um... Infectious diseases, but I guess I call myself like an infectious disease scientist, maybe. Um, but I think it's really good work. Uh, one thing, here's a funny thing. Um, the funding in research is really always finicky. Like, you never can guarantee that you have funding. So you're always working to get more money. Like, it's just what you do. Like, you have to hustle, basically. Uh, so as a grad student, I wrote a few grants on my own. And I received a couple of those. Plus, the university funded me um, through, like, a kind of, like, college-level... Uh, fellowship. So I was. I did my PhD for five years, and I was funded the entire way through uh, the first like two or three years from the university, and the last couple like two or three years. Um, I just realized I'm still full on bag space. What am I doing? Uh, okay. <clears throat> well, we got one of our jungle stalk stalker feathers already. So I was really fortunate to have funding all the way through my PhD, which means I didn't have to take out loans for grad school at all. So I had. Um, they paid for my stipend, um, it included student health insurance, and then um, I, so it, it covered my tuition, it gave me a free health insurance, which is, you know, in the U.S. it's really valuable to have free health insurance. Uh, I wasn't like the most amazing coverage, but it was, it was perfectly, I was perfectly happy with it, and uh, then it gave me a small stipend. I basically got paid, like, if I worked a 40-hour week, I probably would have made around like $10 an hour, but... I worked a lot more than 40 hours a week. I probably averaged closer to like 55 to 60 hours a week all through grad for like five years. Um, so I was really making probably more like $7.50 an hour is what I would say is closer to my actual amount of money I was making. Um, which I, I'm not going to complain about because I was still, by the time you include the fact that I was getting a scholarship that was covering my tuition and health insurance, I was probably going to pay more like $20 an hour. I mean, tuition's so expensive. Tuition's like probably fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars a year for the average university uh, in the U.S. So that's a huge amount of money to not have to take out of my bank or to take loans out for is what would actually have happened. Um, but yeah, there's always money we always need to worry about in, in research, really. In, and I, I understand that money is, matters to all sorts of things. You, you can't just not have money and run a business, right? So I, I don't hold it against anyone, but it's always a little disappointing. That's the case. Well, these guys are all over the place. Um, 
So uh, now as a postdoc, I am spending a lot of time working on getting grants. So I'm funded from a grant right now that my advisor had gotten. That's why he hired me. He hired me because he had this grant that he got. Um, but whoops, resist. How is that? How's a 37 going to resist? That's so lame. Um, but then I still need more money. So like we still that, my, that grant money will run out eventually. So we need to find more funding. Uh, so to get more funding, I am um, writing for grants of my own, my like small little mini postdoc level grants that will maybe fund me for a year or two. Um, my department looks like they're going to award me a separate grant that will cover me for about 18 months. Um, not a grant, but they've been... So the National Institutes of Health do a lot of biomedical research funding. And in this case, they sometimes will fund entire departments uh, with like a grant that they give the money to the department and tell the department that they are allowed to pick people to use that grant on. And I applied for one of those and it looks like they are going to award me like an 18 month grant, which is like, uh, not a grant, but a stipend, basically a salary, um, which is really nice. Like 18 months of guaranteed funding as a postdoc is really good. So that is really important for me. So I'm really hoping that goes through. It looks like it's going to, but it's always like some uh, details that have to be worked out between the National Institutes of Health and the funding department. So it's not guaranteed just yet. Um, we are working, by the way, on our jungle stalker feathers, and it's going pretty well. I have, what, four of ten. Oops, I need to try to get this guy off of me. I'm hoping our void walker can fear this. Ah, oh, screw it. Hell of terror it is. Just kill this one first. Let's get our siphon soul buff. There we go, soul siphon buff up. Okay, well, that guy's running over there. I don't really care. I'll deal with him when he comes back. There we go, found him. Anyway, sorry, it's talk I'm talking about so much research stuff today. Uh, now, in the world of Warcraft, let's see how many people are online now. So the population has gone up. It went from about 3,100 and we were online to closer to 4,000 now, 3,900 roughly. Um, so that's good. And we are actually right above the arena. So the Garabashi Arena is really cool. It originally had no function in uh, when Vanilla WoW launched. It eventually, uh, it did have function that you could attack anyone in it. So when you went, Mulan Rogue, <coughs> hi there. What's he up to? Uh, no, but I can help. I need jungle stalker feathers. Where is Tethys? There he is, found Tethys. Invite this rogue. <laughs> Let's get Burya over here. Now, 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 we are... I should be able to solve this, I think. But we might as well. Group up. And uh, throw all the dots on. I think my fear got broken. That's okay. Yeah. Maybe he'll drop a jungle stalker feather. I don't think he should, right? I mean, yeah, keep him stunned, rogues. Good job, good job. Well, that was easy. Nice. Easy peasy. Easy. Thanks. Will do. Okay. Take care. Wow. Uh. I guess, I don't think Burry uh, actually needed that. Um, you? Maybe he's gonna say you too? Two. Oh, he left before I got a smile at him. Sad times. That's okay. Life goes on. Yeah, Death Coil, man. I need to use Death Coil more often. What am I doing? I am like super scrubbed here. I just forget I have abilities. Like if I get like in the routine of using a few skills and then I just don't use anything else. I just forget about it. Um, I don't know why, and I'm actually probably going to wrap up pretty soon here, by the way. We're closing in on one hour. I usually try and keep these videos to about a solid hour, and uh, even if that sometimes means interrupting the gameplay in the middle. And actually, the good news about finishing up in about an hour means I still have a little bit of time in my morning today. I got up a little bit earlier than normal. Um, or actually, I'm going in a little bit later than normal, I should say, not getting up earlier. And that gives me the opportunity to maybe render the video and get this video up tomorrow instead of two or three days from now. So that's a nice, nice thing for me. Uh, it always feels good when I can like get up, record a video, and render a video before I leave for work. I mean, I feel that's like true productivity. Um, and the rendering 
Oh man, it takes so long. I swear I have like the worst software. I use Sony Movie Studio 13 Platinum, and it takes like seriously like three to six hours to render a one hour video. Now I do encode at like a high bit rate. Uh, it's 1080p, 60fps. It's not like it's like a low quality video, but it's still long, man. And then um, I'm also running on an i5 from 2011. So I have an i5-2500K, which is seriously, first of all, an amazing processor. Like, you can overclock that bad boy. Mine's running like 4.2, I think, 4.1, I forget. Amazing processor back in 2011 when it came out. Um, however, it's an old processor now. I mean, and it's also an i5, not an i7, so it's not exactly built for rendering. Um, that's one of the things I really should uh, think. I, I really should ask for like donations or something. I never have ever asked people for money on this uh, channel. Like, I don't think I have. I don't have a Patreon. I've never like set up a tip jar or anything. I never pushed anything like that. Um, it would be nice to get a little bit of money in. I make a little bit from the ad revenue, and then uh, put that money towards an i7 when I want to upgrade my computers. That would make uploading videos so much easier. Like it's the biggest thing right now is that it. Um, this takes forever to render videos, and if I had an i7, like a modern one, a modern processor, um, I think it would be a lot faster, and I could probably be more consistent with my uploads, because a lot of times I'm rendering, and like my computer is in the middle of rendering, and I'm like, well, I can't use my computer because it actually takes up so much CPU usage that things kind of come to a stutter if I try to play WoW in the background, uh, so that does not work well. So I generally have to like wait, and so I always do my rendering overnight at this point or during the workday while I'm at work because if I try and do it during the evening when I'm home or in the morning, um, I cannot use my computer at all, so that's unfortunate. But I don't know, at the same time I don't necessarily need money from people and I just feel so bad asking for money when I'm doing something that I'm having fun with anyway. Like it just seems like, it seems like I'm getting too much out of this, right? Like I'm, I'm having fun making videos and then people are paying me for the videos essentially, that seems weird. So. I don't know. I just feel guilty. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I've been in this for a couple of years now, I guess, so... I don't know. Oh, this jungle stalker just turned on me. He's gonna wreck me if I don't heal a little bit. Get some drain lifes going. Good news is I can drain quite a bit of life from these guys. Um, I think I have improved drain life, don't I? Yeah. Increase the health drain by 10%. Okay, we need two more jungle stalker feathers. Ooh, let's come back here. Um... There we go. I'm finally done with those stupid bandages. Now I can put these on here instead. Hey, it's Thunder Fury. The coolest looking weapon in vanilla WoW, in my opinion. Look at that thing. There's some funny looking weapons, but it's one of the coolest looking ones. The funniest looking weapon is probably Cookie's Mallet from Dead Mines. He's got, he's like a, what is he? Cookie is a murloc, and he's very cute. He's got a little mallet, which is actually a rolling pin, and it's, I think it's really funny. Um, yeah, Cookie's so cool. People forget about Cookie. People sleep on Cookie too much, but he's great. Okay, this guy's almost dead. We need two more feathers. I'm thinking of just wrapping up these feathers real quick. Uh, we need another... I can't believe I pulled that guy, by the way, without it aggroing the little pet that was with him. My Amplify Curse is about to run out. I need to, like, pop this curse down real fast. There we go. I, like, cast the Amplify Curse and then didn't use it on anything, an actual curse. So it was, like, it only lasts for 30 seconds, so it almost ran out. And it's on a three-minute cooldown, so you don't want to lose that. Amplify Curse, by the way, um, increase the... Effect of your next Curse of Weakness or Curse of Agony by 50%, uh, or Curse of Exhaustion by 20%, so... Ah, okay, well, we finished up our Jungle Stalkers now, our, our Feathers. Um, we will, I'm gonna pull to the side and log out here for today, but we're gonna come back next time, we'll turn in a couple of these quests. We've got one, two, three quests to turn in, and then I think we might leave STV for the time being and go get the Star of Zilli, Zilli, yeah, quest done? Or the Star, we need the Star of the Hand the Heart. Uh, it'd be nice to finish that quest up. But that's all for today, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.